Aussie Brick Chick here and I'm at this very awesome display of some vintage Lego stuff and we have the very awesome Bailey here Hello. with us and I love your jacket mate. Thank you, thank you, all custom. <laughs> all custom. <laughs> Gonna have to get me one of those one day. <laughs> Will do. Now um, I'm looking at all of this, do you have a favourite on um, on this display? I would say my favourite wooden toy would have to be the ferry. The ferry? Well, the ferry obviously was a vehicle that was quite widely used before the advent of cheap plane flights mm -hmm. uh, and there's a ferry through most eras of Lego building. I yes. know there's one in the 60s, one in the 70s and there was one in 2015 in the in the city line. Yes, um, very, very current, I recall it. And this and one, does it have wheels on the bottom? Does yeah, it? it does. So, so you can actually it's play essentially with it? to roll along the carpet, or along, along anything like that, and you can flip the heads down. Oh, so you can put car the cars on and off? And park them. That is really cool. Yeah. So for people who aren't familiar with LEGO and the fact that they used to make wooden toys before they went to yep. plastic, mm. what year did they stop making wooden toys? Stopped making wooden toys around the late 50s. Late 50s, uh, And that yep. was actually uh, the founder, Ola, he had three sons and a daughter. Mm -hmm. One son, Gottfried, which most people will know, started and kept going with LEGO. Mm -hmm. And the other two sons, Carl George and Gerhard, actually kept going with the timber and oh. took their father's designs and rebranded them as yep. uh, Billow Fix. Ah, which is what I've got here. so you got the Billow Fix brand. So they there. kept going, but obviously after three factory fires, um, yeah. I would get away from the timber as well. Yeah, true, yeah. true. Well, the one that really catches my eye here is this um, pull along duck. I noticed <laughs> yes. that it's, it's plastic, isn't yes. it? Yes, so Primo essentially took Lego back to basics. It was obviously mm. for younger kids than what Duplo would be for. Mm. And it was for it was for either educational purposes or just for, for creative play, which is what Lego is all about. Yeah. And I brought this along as essentially a modern equivalent to what you'd get with these pull along toys. And the no, duckling welcome. is a rattle. Oh, it's a rattle. Much like the early oh, toys were. Oh, the blocks have rattles in them. They are. If you've ever seen Play School that is with so the different cool. sounding bells, they all sound different. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hours of entertainment here. You can't even see by looking at them. No, you wouldn't know that those are actually <laughs> rattles. That, yeah. That's a very cool thing so to cool. actually um, discover. I like those. And I, I really love this train. Yeah, so all of the train fans that have come to this show have been absolutely nuts about this. It's, I suppose, awesome. the earliest train that LEGO made. It's actually missing a full carriage yeah. and the roof on this one. Yeah. Uh, but as is, it, it still is a spectacular piece. Really so well built. How old is it? This one, given the logo, was from around 36 to 1942. Sometime between those years. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's impressive. Mm. I remember when I was a kid, my dad tried to make a wooden train for my brother and oh, yes. he managed to cut his finger off. Nearly Whoa. all of it off <laughs> in a bandsaw trying to make it. Needless to say, the train never got finished. <laughs> but this this is really awesome. Yeah. Uh, uh, that is so cool. Now, I see something here that looks kind of like... Meccano? Yes, so I suppose it's sort of Lego's first foray into the Technic line, I guess you mm. could call it. This was Billo Fix. Mm -hmm. uh, so it used to come with some tools, some nuts, some bolts, oh, wow. and all sorts of different sizes. That was very clever. Yeah. And you can pretty much make whatever you can make with yeah. the bits and pieces. Big so. cranes, all sorts. And the, the nuts are plastic, is it? Yep. Yeah, so this. Obviously, uh, those other two sons wanted to keep going with the timber, mm. but also wanted to use the new plastic yeah. that their brother and father were so using. So, like the best of both worlds in yeah. some respects. That's and so very that, clever. That's my own mock. It's one of the first <laughs> mocks I've done in the last year. Oh, <laughs> that's very impressive. And I, I do love the, the old school tools. Yes, yeah. We've you had, can't we've go had a lot them. of crazy cat ladies come through, absolutely adore <laughs> The kitten is cute. Who could not love that face? Even with all the worn bits on <laughs> and, it. And the wonky eyes. And the wonky eyes. Ah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what else have we got here? Is it abacus? 
Yeah, they were big on uh, big on education around that time. I can see like the the Bill <laughs> and Denmark. Yeah, that's there's all that's left. There's still a little bit logo. left. There's still a little bit left on it. I'm impressed. Yeah. Now because it would be handled quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah, hard to find with all of those metal spines still straight yeah. and not bent. I can imagine they'd be easy to bend. Then yeah. we got building blocks as well. Yeah, one of these actually has a kitten or a dog on the side of it, but they had all sorts of letters and numbers along them as well. Yeah. And there's a few that are in almost new condition. And some that are worn off. And <laughs> some that are even cracking with age. Well, that's, that's not surprising given the age of them. I mean, these these were for very young kids, so I've got a yeah, few with white Yeah, they get manhandled an awful lot. Yeah. And you've got, oh, I've seen this one before, your garage. Uh, yeah, so these are, they're a little scrappy. I love this garage. That'd have to be one of my favorites as well. This garage inspired all of these sets behind it. They yes. used the exact same technique very to cool. raise the door and just made it small and plastic. Well, that's very interesting. Um, and that set at the top is one of the first sets that this had a one purpose, up here? not just random bricks. Yeah. Oh, wow. So that was from 1955. So that's back to when, when they first started really making sets. Yep. So it, it actually had instructions, and it was one of yeah. the first that did. I always need to make up a bit in the background. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got a whole bunch of. Um, Plastic yeah, so that's, stuff back that's here. the Merston, the automatic binding mm -hmm. bricks. That's very cool. Yeah. And if you ever come to the show and you're interested, you're more than welcome to take one of these because I've got plenty to go around. <laughs> very cool. Alright, Bailey, thank you so much for um, nice. showing us around. It's really, really great to see some of the history of Lego that you don't always get to see. Yes, it's stuff uh, that you, you just don't see in, uh, in Target. <laughs> yes, true. <laughs> All right. Okay, so uh, thanks everyone for joining us. Uh, hopefully you've learned a bit today and uh, keep on building. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.